Right, I'm going to firstly label the API strip. And so you just label it with the organism that's unknown in that right hand corner. And then what we need to do is then take the lid off. And in the base of the well, you can see all these corrugated areas. And what I'm going to do is just fill those with water. If there's any excess water, in order to find out if you've got any excess, you move it all up and down until you fill most of those wells. And if there's any excess, just get rid of it in a pot. And then that provides a humidified chamber for your API strip. And that just sits in there like that. And then I'm just going to put it at a slight angle. And what we're going to do next is take one colony from here and I'm probably going to take this colony there, inoculate it into five mils of sterile distilled water and then use that to then fill these all the way across. Okay, so I'm going to move the Bunsen flame to its hottest flame because what I want to do is now flame this straight wire until it's red hot to sterilize it, get rid of any bacteria on there. We'll give it a few seconds to cool down and then pick that colony there into the sterile distilled water. So I've got quite a bit on the end of that straight wire. And then I'm going to inoculate the distilled water so what you need to do is then bring your straight wire inside the inside of the universal and then emulsify a little bit in the distilled water and then on the inside of that glass container. Okay? And then you take it out, pop the lid back on and flame your straight wire. And then give that a nice shake so it's nicely mixed in the bacteria in the distilled water. And then I'll stop there before I show you the next piece. So I'm just filling up the microtubules with the bacterial suspension, only up to that level, all the way across to the very last one. Okay, I'm just going to stop there because I've run out of um, suspension. So then go back and get some more suspension into your pipette. and then fill in the rest of the cupules, starting with indole. Always doing it in that left-hand corner, which minimizes the air bubbles that you'll get. up until the very last one, Arabinos, and then I'm going to stop there. Okay. So I'm just going to pick it up and just have a look and see if there are any air bubbles, which there aren't, so that's okay. So I'm going to put it back down flat on the bench. Okay. So topping up the citrate cupule with some more bacterial suspension, topping up your VP with some more bacterial suspension then topping up your gelatin with some more bacterial suspension. Then we're going to use the liquid paraffin to top up some of the cupules. So, and the ones that we're going to top up are the ones that are underlined so LD ADH, LDC, ODC, H2S, and urea. And what we're doing is we're simulating anaerobic conditions by topping up with paraffin oil. 
So pop the lid back on so you don't contaminate it with any bacteria that are available in the environment. And then we're going to do a purity plate with our bacterial suspension just to make sure that what we've put in there is pure. So we're just going to take one drop and just drop it on there and that will be sufficient. Then using your bacteriological loop and the hottest part of the flame is sterilizing it again and then we're going to streak out that drop that we've put on that agar plate all the way across so that eventually next time we can see nice single bacterial colonies. So going back to that originally where we inoculated it so I've spread it out then I've got to heat the loop each time move your plate around and take some from there across to the next area flame the loop taking a little bit more from that sector to the next area and we're going to do that two more times so that eventually right at the very end we're going to have nice pure colonies we can then do further work on if we need to so this will be the last one and what you need to do with the last one is do a squiggle okay so we can see those nice single colonies next time okay. and then flaming your bacteriological loop when you're finished pop the lid back on and it's going to be incubated the plate with the API strip.